All right, Chris. Now the first place that I would fish here, the most likely place that you're gonna see fish holding uh -huh. is in this still water right here. Right there. So what I would do is I'd get some of your line out and I'd come up to about right here and I'd cast right over the far side of this rock. The reason I say the far side is if you throw it on this side and start pulling, you're gonna get stuck between those okay. rocks. So I would cast right over Try to get it right to the seam and then start pulling it back toward you. Okay. Does that make sense to you? So the, so the seam is where the fast water Where the fast water meets the slow water. Try to get right over there and bring it back across. And bring it back across, yep. And just bring it straight back to you. All right. Any, uh, like what kind of cast? So I would just cast straight forward, straight overhead cast. You can see there's nothing above you. Okay. So you got plenty of room. Just keep in mind these two places here and try to get it right into that spot and then bring it back to you. Pulses, maybe six inches. Pulse, pulse, rest. Pulse, pulse with right. your strip. Right. Make sense? Yeah. Go for it. Right. Yeah, I'd go from right there. I wouldn't get much closer. Oops. Success! <laughs> go. go. That's how I'll fish a hole. You notice I started up, here, right? started up here, I hit the tail out on that side, swung through, hit all the likely spots on the sides, didn't see anything, time to move on. Okay. So, they don't hit a streamer after the first couple of times. That's yeah, right. Out there, just, to just time to go. Okay. You got it. So let's climb back off, because this rock is freaking huge. And then let's just work our way down. Got one. Chris, come over here. Brook trout. So let a little line out. And then do that same cast again. Boom. That's okay. Just keep tension in it and bring it back to you slowly. I'm going to teach you a retrieve called a figure of eight. Okay. Whenever you cast it out like this and you got it out straight and you got it, look how I do my hand. Okay. How I'm making eights in my hand. All I'm doing with that it into the water. Is, is giving it gentle tension because these fish are wanting something real slow today. That, that hit that I got a second ago was, oh shit, sorry I caught your fish. So your woolly buggers work, and that's a brook trout. Oops. But he's not the only one in there, so try, so try that again. Okay. So they work. Hey. See? Now cast again, except you see this little tiny ripple right uh -huh. there in the middle? Cast straight to that. There you go. Oh, you just had some meat at it. Did you see that? I saw your fly suddenly disappear. That's how I knew it. <laughs> That's how I knew something had grabbed it. Okay. Yep. Try to get a little bit further out. Yep. Do your cast again. Go ahead and recast because that wasn't that wasn't your best. And then straight forward. Yeah. There. There. Got it. Got it. Got it. Excellent. And then just strip him in. Strip him in? Yeah. <laughs> Damn thing works. <laughs> Good job, buddy. You got your brookie. Okay, just bring it over here and I'll land it for you and I'll take the picture with it. There you go. Got it. Awesome. It's official. All right, now you can let him loose. Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Good cast. That's the one. That's the one. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Bring your tip over here. Tip over here. Tip over here. Fish. Fish. Damn, this is fun. Man, I didn't get, even get the net. 
I should have got the net. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> I told you it's stupid. You've already got seven. You got more in one hole in ten minutes than you did in two months. Shoot, maybe I ought to go get the net. <laughs> You can tell how cold that water is, though, isn't it? This is a wall hanging up in there, man. Yeah, so what you've got there is it's gotten hooked in his, or maxilla is what that's called. The maxilla, that bone that comes in the front uh -huh. it's with connective tissue. It's a lot like our upper jaw, but in theirs it's not connected. Okay. So. Okay, recast. I'm telling you, there's three or four more in there. Three or four more that haven't touched a hook yet. Oh, there's one that got him, got him, got him. <laughs> Did you feel that one? I felt it. Okay, yeah. good. Easy there, fisherman. You're wearing them out. <laughs> <laughs> All these are brook, right? Yeah, so far. Well, Dave, I don't want to take all the fun, man. No, I mean, Chris, I've caught literally so many fish. I'm just thrilled that you're having fun. Well, I'll tell you what, this right here is a good lesson. Don't leave fish to find fish, right? If you're bite, stay on top of them. If, you're, if you got a bite, stay on them. Because we've been here 20 minutes and we've caught now, that was your 10th, or that was number eight. And we can get 10, 15 out of this hole before they'll give up because I continue to see them swiping at it. And they love your little woolly booger, man. Got him. Gosh, they just keep grabbing it. There's so many in that hole, Chris. It's ridiculous. We could go right up to the truck right now and put on a dry dropper and catch another 10 out of this hole. <laughs> this is the honey pot, man. <laughs> is that a rainbow? No, nah, there's a brookie too. And now do it. There you go. Now lift up right now. Keep lifting, keep lifting, keep lifting. Keep holding it. That's perfect drift. Perfect. Yep, yep, yep. Keep watching it. Keep watching it. Keep watching it. Keep watching it. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Fish. Got him. Oh, lost him. That's that okay. That is like the trench. That's, that's the honey spot, man. That wind does make it challenging. So cast up here again. There you go. Lift up. Lift up. This is going to drift right where you want it. Yeah, got him. Got him. Got him. Now these are barbless, so you got to keep tight or they'll come right off. Okay, you ready? Okay, lift up, lift up. Perfect cast. Yes, got him, got him. As soon as it hit, he was on it. With a lighter rod, isn't it? <laughs> oh, another cast. There you go, lift up. It's gonna be there, in just a second. It'll be right on it. Keep holding it, keep holding it. It's gonna drift and then you're gonna get a fish. Keep watching. Got him. Okay, recast. That was a. That was not your best. Perfect. Line up. Line up. Line up. Line up. Keep watching, keep watching. Fish, got him. <laughs> you know what, Dave? This is, this is all right, man. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Yeah.
Got him. This is a rainbow, actually. First rainbow that we've seen today. Nice. Had what, four or five? I don't know how many I've got. There he is. There's a rainbow too. Sit you loose, bro. We'll see if they like the sexy walls. They do. <laughs> there you go. Are you ready? Okay, recast. Okay, a little bit of line back. There you go. Pulling a little bit of line. There you go. There you go. And watch that drift. Fish. <laughs> you got him. So he took a break to warm up. He's already catching fish. Oops. Did he get my waltz? Nope, he didn't. Good. Whenever you, so you can see there's a current that goes that way, mm -hmm. there's a current that goes this way, and then there's an eddy that's pushing right back into the middle. Right. So whenever you make this cast over here, if you just leave it there, it stops right in the middle like that, which yeah. is really unnatural, right? Right. So what you want when you're fishing a dry fly is you want it to be natural. You see how I threw my mend over there? Yeah. And it continued to follow with the drift, and then I can just, Throw out a little bit of slack to let it keep going. With to the let currents. it keep going with the current. Okay. Well, well I, I knew you were back there. Well, you sit here and chat, man. Yeah. <laughs> Another brookie. Oops. You get my waltz. He did. Oh. That little pecker. There we go. Uh, something just came right up and looked at it. Didn't take it though. Right. Yeah. So funny. Yep, there he is. Got him. Another, another brook. Another brook. <laughs> 